Hello, people of YouTube and gamers. For absolutely no reason at all, I thought to myself last night, I wonder what the best way to play Hexen is. If you've never heard of Hexen, it is a old PC game. It was also on PS1, Sega Saturn, and N64. I had the PS1 version myself. What you're looking at right now is the PC version. Now clearly you're looking at the modded version on the PC here. There's some texture mods, there is some blood and gore mods, weather, there is a sound mod, uh, fake HDR, there's some reshaders on here to make it look as modern as possible. No one's going to expect this thing to look brand new. It is a pretty old game. This is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like if you played on the PC without any mod. Now this is obviously not very good. It looks worse being on a flat screen monitor and you know just having it basically downloaded from Steam and playing as is. There's something to be said about playing it on original hardware with maybe an old CRT monitor. It would probably be a little more clear and just have a nicer overall look. But this is basically what it's going to look like if you download it and you do not mod it. I'm also going to take a look at PS1, Sega Saturn, N64 basically untouched and then how much I can upscale them because all three of those do have uh, you know a, a bit of play on the PC and, and we can see how they look with upscaling and find out what the best way to play is. Now I'm going to lean on probably the PC way just because there is a little more you can do to it but it's pretty amazing that it can go from this to what you just saw before or to this without really much more than just copying and pasting a couple mods. Now before we start comparing all the different versions of this game, if you've never played this game before, here's a pretty quick review that is basically just regurgitated off Wikipedia. Hexen came out in 1995, it was a sequel to Heretic, it's developed by Ravensoft and is a first person shooter fantasy video game. The console versions were not received very well due to low frame rates and basically tanky controls. Now all of that can be remedied with mods now, running it through emulations. Uh, you have a selection of three characters. There's a mage, there is a warrior, and then there is a paladis, which I assume is like a paladin, uh, which you see right here with the spiky stick. I do not know what that weapon is called. The mage has, uh, well, magical powers and a wand, and the warrior has iron gauntlets for punching people. You can find a bunch of different weapons while you play, they do different things. I won't go too much into the game. If you're interested, go download it on Steam or wherever and uh, give it a play. So currently you are still viewing the PC version. Now the mods I have on the PC version are as follows. GZ Doom or Z Doom Pack. It is basically the loader that also works for Doom mods that will help you put all the mods on and load properly, give you different options while you're playing the game. And within that, one of the first ones I have is a Weapon Enhancement Mod 1.6, I believe is the version. And just like it sounds, it enhances the detail of the weapons and the stained glass in the game. The next one I have is the Gore Mod, which again, pretty self-explanatory. It ups the gore value. The next mod after that is just a texture wrap mod, which changes all the leaf textures on the ground, rock textures, things like that, as well as the enemy models, and brings basically high res scans of the models in. And then the next one is a widescreen hack and resolution hack, so that I can crank it up to 4K and I can play in widescreen without it looking stretched. And to top it all off, there is a high quality sound mode, as well as a weather mod, which you're seeing right now with the little bits of rain and the thunderstorm you can hear in the background. That's about it for mods. If you're interested in them, I will leave links for all the mods I have down below. If you guys want to see a video on how to install them and get them up and running on a Windows 10 PC, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on how to get these mods up and running on your computer. And with all that out of the way, let's take a look at pretty much the worst version, which I hate to say because I am a PlayStation fan, but in last place, it's the PlayStation 1 port. It just did not look very well. It was very, very tanky on the controls, and no matter what emulator I ran it through, I just could not get a very good, clean picture out of it. Now this is actually pretty surprising because PlayStation 1 games normally scale up really well. This one did not. I'm sure more 
techie people on, out there will understand why and be able to explain it to me. I couldn't get it to work. This is the best you're going to get. It's pretty much just how it's going to look on a PS1. You could put some CRT filters on there and it will make it look a lot better. But out of all of them, this was the lowest quality looking one. Now, between this or Saturn, I will take this one and you will find out next as I show you the Sega Saturn version. So the Sega Saturn version here is pumped up to 4K. It's still kind of old looking. It's not like the computer version being bumped up to 4K. But regardless, Sega Saturn is bumped up to 4K. It does have a cleaner image than the PS1. Everything's a little more detailed. It's a lot darker than the PlayStation 1. I did notice that. And the big issue with this, even though it does look nicer, is after 10-15 minutes of play, if you have this scaled up anything past 720 through most of the emulators I tried, it would freeze right up but you could play this at 720 it's still going to look better than the ps1 and you'll have a good experience if you bump it up to 4k internal resolution like i said 10 15 minutes you'll get out of it it'll freeze up if there is a workaround that somebody knows go ahead and let me know in the comments i was unable to find one and now out of all three console versions the sega saturn the playstation 1 and the n64 here is which surprised me the best version scaled up the n64 right off the hop even on the title screen you can see there's a big clarity difference and when it loads up the background textures the rocks the grass everything like that just looks substantially better compared to the playstation 1 and the sega saturn it's sharper it's better colors it's a little smoother running as well the character details well they're kind of blurry when you're close to them they don't really have that like a real bad pixelation almost to the point where you can barely make the characters out from the backgrounds it was just a better experience now the only downside with n64 setting up controllers can be a bit of a pain in the butt if you're trying to use an xbox one or a ps4 controller it never works quite right i would just suggest getting a usb n64 controller they're not as good as the originals but it's easier to map out the buttons and it feels more normal now it's not unplayable it's just a little bit of work around and a little bit of set in the right key bindings to where you're happy with playing it. But all in all, the N64 one was a great experience. I could thoroughly play through this game and enjoy it this way. Through emulation, it, it was great. Uh, the console, it would probably be a little more murky and cloudy with your typical N64 fog. But overall, even just on console versions, I would suggest the N64 version. Uh, now out of all four, I'm going to always go on PC, PC scaled up the nicest, little more workarounds with the mods, a little more work to get it there, uh, you know, N64 emulation, I just clicked a couple buttons, it was there, PC, I had to download some mods, you have to, you know, put a couple commands in, it's pretty basic though, again, I'll make a video if anyone wants to see how to mod it, but all in all, it's a pretty good game, I would play it on PC, followed by N64, anyway, it would really be playable though through all the consoles or the PC. So whichever one you have access to is the one that you should definitely try out. Now that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll end it by showing a little side-by-side -side comparison of all the different versions that I played. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, or let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. If it be more mod videos, comparisons of old games modded out and how they can look, or whatever's on the ladder. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching, and bye for now.